So many people have been taught by a dead church. So what that creates is a person who thinks they know certain things when actually they don't. So they try to live by certain things that they think are true. And one day, they find out that what they thought was true turned out to be lies that they were taught by a dead church. Taught by a dead church. So you see, these days, one by one, people are dropping like flies. They were believing, now they're not. They were praying, praising, some were preaching, now they're not. Because they were taught by a dead church. And unless you know the truth, and unless you really know the Most High, what you build will not stand. If your foundation is not the real God, then your house will fall. I don't care if you're in the church 10 years, 20 years, or 50 years, it don't matter. Your house is coming down because it was built on the wrong foundation. Your house is coming down because it was built out of order. So we look at the teachings of the old-fashioned church. The church that has the form of godliness is that church that denies the power thereof. So we look and we say, okay, what did they tell us? They told us a bunch of churchy statements. They said a lot of things that were not true. And when you come against this kind of stuff, I know you look, you get looked down on and everybody wants you to just go somewhere and sit down. Don't talk about this. But I talk about it because I see that it's killing the majority. People that's been in Christ for 20 and 30 years basing their lives on things that were not true, just churchy, and they dropping out. But nobody wants to talk about it. Okay, so they taught us in the churchy church that we needed to be churchgoers. You need to be in church. <clears throat> but being in church is not enough. Okay, so being in church is not enough. Yeah, you need to get saved. Come to church and get saved. But guess what? Going to church and getting saved is not enough. So you say, okay, we go to church, we get saved, and we get delivered. Okay, I feel you on that. Because according to scripture, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. That's just the start. Who made that the finish? But a lot of people get stuck right there. So you say, we come to church, we get saved, we get delivered. Okay, I got you. Now let me tell you this, going to church, getting saved, being delivered, still not enough. 
I said going to church, getting saved, being delivered. Still not enough. So you say, okay, I understand. So we have to go to church. We have to get saved. We have to be delivered. And then we need the Holy Spirit. I say, okay, I got you on that. But going to church, getting saved, being delivered, and getting the Holy Spirit, still not enough. So you say, all right, we got to do all of that. Go to church, get saved, get delivered, get the Holy Ghost, and guess what? This is the problem. A lot of people got stuck on going to church. Those who didn't get stuck right there, they went to church and got saved and got stuck on salvation. Those who didn't get stuck right there, they went to church, got saved, and got stuck on deliverance. Those who didn't get stuck right there, they went to church, got saved, got delivered, and got the Holy Ghost. And guess what? They got stuck right there. We have to go to church. Be saved. Be delivered. Get the Holy Ghost. And get the fire. Get the fire. How did we miss out on the fire? Scripture says, I will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. Where is the fire? Who is talking about the fire? Who knows about the fire? Who is teaching about the fire? Without that fire, your house is going to come crumbling down. I promise you that. We've seen it year after year. Nobody's talking about it, and you're going to continue to see it. Because without that knowing of God's system, you can have all of that and still not have that fire. When you got that fire, you got that knowing. When you got that fire, you got that power. When you got that fire, you got that ability to connect with another brother, connect with another sister, and great things happen because that's God's design. Fire. Now tell me, have you ever heard that taught in a dead church? Stop being so churchy, running around, hooping and hollering, shouting amen, dancing all over the church. It's always more. There's always more. We need faith. We need God's system. We need the fire, the power of God. Get that fire. 